He had all sorts of things to say, but there was very there was no evidence. The little manual says this. Identifying at-risk youth who are destined to a life of crime. And then it continues. And engaging them to prevent them from developing to prolific offenders also has significant crime prevention potential. Uh, accurate identification and intervention of at-risk youth can set them on the right path. So I, I almost feel like the intentions are good because they want to... They want to help this, what they determine to be this at-risk youth from having, not going into a life of crime. But at the same time, you know, what happened about, you know, it's, uh, I was telling Jamal right before the show started, there's a, there's a movie called The Minority Report with Tom Cruise. And that the whole premise of that movie is something called precognition, where they have these super beings that know someone is going to commit a crime, mm -hmm. a murder, like a violent crime, a murder, a rape, or something like that. And they have these visions, and then the, this, this force goes out to arrest these individuals for something they haven't yet committed, but this this being uh, dreamt it. This being dreamt that you, someone's going to commit a murder, so we need to arrest them before that happens. And so this is kind of very similar. I know these children were not arrested, but they were harassed by law enforcement, right? And Deb gave some great examples. Oh, of no, some people were arrested. Some, like people, some, some people were arrested. Yeah, some of the people were oh, arrested. I, I guess I didn't realize that. So. Well, because like the, it, just like Deb mentioned the mental health, I mean, there's a video of this one um, young man, and he says he has mental health issues, and he was arrested. Um, it, yeah, it's... It's, it's bad. It's, it is bad. Let's, get, it, let's yeah. get to a caller real quick, and then we got our NPR break coming up. Good morning, caller. What is your name, or where are you calling us from? Hey, good morning. Levi on the Post Plantation. Hey, Levi. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Doing Ooh, good, doing good. How are you doing, sir? Pretty good. So you're talking about the uh, artificial intelligence with the police? Uh, yeah, so they're, we're talking about, yeah, they're, they're monitoring database and, and software that they created, correct? Yeah, so... You know, this is probably not central to, to only Pasco County. Yeah, you're probably right. And uh, if we know about it, then there's probably more than just this that's going on. Is it alarming to you, Levi, that like a, a Pasco County Sheriff's Department would have such sophisticated uh, equ equipment and operation and just an intelligence division to begin with? Uh, it's not, no. Okay. Uh, the militarization of police, we know, has been going on for some time. I mean, they mm -hmm. got more power than the CIA did you know, 50 years ago, or probably 20 years ago. You know, when people talk about, well, the police don't need the funding because, you know, look look at what they're driving or something like that. I'm looking at what they're driving. They're driving brand new stuff. Uh, they got drones, you know, mm -hmm. you can see them. They can see you. I mean, you can go on and on about the sophistication of the technology. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they talked about China having facial recognition that's able to identify whether people are guilty or whatever when they um, come into the jails. I mean, they, they must be using that here, too. I mean, we, you know, if time we hear them point the finger at China doing this and that, it's probably happening here. And if it's happening over there, it's probably owned by companies that are that are that may be not Chinese people. Um, it's a judicial industrial complex. People, uh, police rely on crime for their existence. That, that kind of goes with that new that generating business co uh, comment by Daryl. Yeah. That's yeah could, could you imagine without... You know, crime and the newspaper, uh, you know, doing their uh, investigation you know, yeah. to to uh, project these crimes and whatnot, mm. and they're even you know existing. Um, you know, without this stuff, you know, what are the judges going to do? Just sit there and, and nobody shows up? I mean, you know, it's an industrial complex. You know, they're doing profiling, so they're going to target people based on, you know, the devices and things, and even using, um, you know, the heat heat detection, following people around inside a building. Mm -hmm. um, and really, with the, you, what you guys are talking about is provocation. You know, they're turning these kids into criminals because they're going there to their house and they're pushing them. Yeah, they're just creating resentment, right? That's what happens. Yeah. That's the result. Yeah. And I would assume that that's what they intend to do. And it's not only the police. See, the police elect like customer service representatives. They're the ones. <laughs> you know, when you wow. think, you know, in your ignorance that they're the problem because they're following um, some kind of protocol, 
But they're taking orders. Yeah, they are taking orders, no, without a doubt, yeah. Mm. I well, do appreciate the conversation, fellas. No, thank uh, you, Levi, for the call in. We ended it for the laugh. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. If you keep on moving, you don't have any right to be in here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. This Get is out. An independent right investigation. Now. Call the cops. Call yep, the cops. You need to this leave right now. You need to leave right now. This guy threatened me. But this is literally right here in our own backyard happening, you know. It's well, crazy. Yeah, the issue is they, I, I understand they could have counterintelligence in that. I, I think, as Levi State, they've been doing that for some time. My issue is why the crime went up. Call the cops. I love you guys. Um, I'm a Boricua, proud of Puerto Rican. And uh, I want to sign off... Uh, with uh, Fiel a la Vega, which is one of my favorite bands from Puerto Rico, singing a song called Boricua en la Luna, which means uh, Puerto Rican on the moon. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off the Urban Cafe for the last time with Fiel a la Vega, Boricua en la Luna, uh, live. Take care, everyone. It's been a pleasure and an honor, and I really cherish this experience. Thank you so much. if you look at the customers, then I guess you are looking for people who you can get into your system.